welcome back again to my channel if you're watching my video for the very first time thank you very much for watching watch the entire video okay don't go away all right so guys today i'll be talking to you about a Ghanaian movie titled cheetah's vacation book one <laughs> quite a mouthful but yeah that's the movie i'll be talking about today but oh before then this time next week is going to be my birthday woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Oh my god um, uh, this time next week is going to be my birthday like always i'm going to do a vlog for you guys i'm so excited thank god for keeping me but yeah so keep on the lookout for my for my birthday vlog but hey back to today today i'll be talking to you about cheetah's vacation book one it's a Ghanaian movie you know what to do just sit back um even if you've seen the movie already yeah just see if we agree but if you haven't seen it you want to watch what i have to say first okay so sit back relax enjoy the uh video and I'll be right back. So we've only been married for six months and i certainly cannot suffer this for the rest of my marriage it's not gonna happen that was harsh sweetie dude a girl is starving here he can't satisfy me the way you can i like the sound of that back so cheetah's vacation book one it's a movie it's a Ghanaian movie produced by frank vaja and um it features eva nelson eddie watson kweku elliot uh, uh umar krup was also in the movie um and a host of other people not other celebrities but other actors and upcoming actors and actresses i'm giving this movie a three over ten uh pretty much because I, I did not like it i didn't think it was a good movie at all in any form or shape the movie was about you can guess what it was about it was about a couple of couples you know relationship issues this couple that couple they all know each other they're all friends they're all having relationship issues this person is sleeping with this person's friend and this person is sleeping with this person's husband they're cheating on each other this one cannot have proper sex you know it was just relationship problems and they all decided to go on a couples retreats to go figure out their problems and oh there was also a gay guy in the mix as well and um yeah they all went for the vacation and it just kind of took up from there um i did not think this movie was necessary because frank raja already produced a cheetah's movie last year um yeah sometime last year he produced cheetahs featuring Jackie Appiah and Ajete Enang and all of that, you know, you might have seen that one. You know, and you would have thought, oh, that would be enough. I mean, we have cheaters, single and married, married and living single. You know, it, there are just so many relationship movies out there and it's quite tiring because at the end of the day, they are all talking about the same issues and when you beat a dead horse, it's like, okay, we've heard, you know, but so maybe if he had approached it from a totally different angle, I would have liked it but it was just another relationship movie i did not think it was necessary so that was number one downside for me another thing was 90 percent of this movie was dominated with bad actors and bad actresses i mean actors that could not even act to save their lives you know people think on i think gollywood and nollywood and all these woods you know they are getting to a place where where if you're fine and you're good looking and you look good in front of the camera you hey go for it you know people won't care no of course we care you know i don't want to sit through a, a movie that with someone that doesn't even believe what she's supposed to be portraying you know but because this person is handsome or is good looking they think it would translate on camera and it really doesn't work like that you know i wish these actors these producers and directors would put much more effort into um putting really good actors and actresses out there so we can celebrate them and appreciate their skills but back to this movie bad actors and actresses in the movie, this movie it, I, it was like torture watching it i had to watch everything but it just wasn't it was everything was a pain you know so they were the actors and then uh even nelson was in the movie i guess she was in the movie just so they could sell it because she was bigger star and the only star if you you know don't count eddie watson in the movie um maybe, maybe even nelson and eddie watson but you know even she you know you know what i call the bad action syndrome yeah when you have a really good actor with a terrible actor and you put them together in the scene 
if the really good actor is not careful, the bad actor is gonna pull him down like that. Yeah, I've always told you guys about it. So that was what happened in this movie, you know. Even Nelson was surrounded by actresses that could not act and actors that could barely get by, you know. So even she, she was like not at her best at all, you know. You've seen you would have seen better from her in other movies that she's been in. So, you know, she was just by the way, by the way, in the movie as well. Same thing goes for Eddie Watson also. I mean he, you could tell they fell out of place in this movie and then another thing was there was an actor in the movie that was named Carlos so Carlos that's his Spanish name Hispanic you're thinking oh maybe he's Mexican or or you know something and then Carlos comes down to the scene and Carlos has a Middle Eastern accent very strong and thick one at that and I'm like I don't get how is Carlos from India or somewhere, you know, in the Middle East? I don't know if he was faking it. I don't know if he, you know, was just acting, um, faking the accent. But either way, the accent had no correlation to the movie. It added no value or it was just, it made it very distracting. I, I just, I didn't want him to talk. I just wanted him to be there, just not talk. Because I didn't see what value the, having the accent added to the movie. You know, so it's just, it was just all uh, a bunch of um, actors and actresses uh, running up and down, telling us relationship issues and using words like bitches and the F word and the uh, S H I T. And they just cursing and cursing, and you're just like, what is going on here? Make them stop. <laughs> That's it for this movie, Cheetah's Vacation, book one, three over ten. That's my waiting for the movie. But as always, you have a mind of your own. I just gave you my own piece. But either way, we always talk about it down in the comment section below. So if you've already seen this movie and you want to talk to me about it, do you agree, do you disagree? Let's get it going in the comment section below. If you haven't seen it and you still don't trust my word for it, you're on your own. Alright guys, <laughs> that's it. Remember next week I'm gonna come to you with my vlog. Keep on the lookout for that. Follow me on Instagram at Adenike or Adebaya. I always tell you, those who follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, they get much more out of me than just seeing me every Sunday or whenever you get to see this video. Alright, so that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Mwah. Have a very, very beautiful and fantastic week. Remaining God and God bless you. Bye-bye.